Learn from your victories. Learn from your experience. Learn from all these things that you have had in the past time. Learn from that experience. But, however, I advise you to take on board mainly your victories. Only give importance to your victories. Do not give importance to your losings, to your failures. Learn from that experience. Learn from your experience, which is good, because from there is where our wisdom comes. From those experiences that we have lived. But we should not stay on the case. We should not look around our failures. We should not look around our sad situations, because that we only help us to stay there. And focus in your victories. If you focus in your victories, you will conquer again and you will go back again on track. And if you are on track, you will get a better track. So, my advice is to stay focused on your victories, on your wins, on your on the times that you were having a good moments where you were on the top of the mountain. Because we have been called to be head in a, and not tail. Now, however, we see a story here, and, and I will not recall to you the book of 1 Kings, chapter 19, uh, and we see somebody who was a powerful man, a man of anointing, a man that has been protected by the Almighty, a man who, who don't mighty things, powerful things, miracles, but when the, 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 the situation uh, uh, overcomes him, he tends to forget who he was, who he was. He forgot that he was all this and he done that. He forgot all the victory that he has in the past and he focused on what he was looking around, what he was seeing at that moment. He was in a he was in a really tough situation and he ran away from that situation when the enemy um, uh, treated him. When the enemy uh, treated him to kill him, to damage him, he just ran away and he forgot who he was. Who he was. Uh, he, he ran away and, and he stayed in a cave. The first Kings chapter 19 say that, 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 that Elijah uh, uh, ran away and he went into and he stays into a cave. And he was there crying, he was there praying, he was there really sad sorrow, and he was just closing his mind. He did not know what to do. Why? Because he was focusing in that failure, in that situation, in that big problem that was overcoming him at that specific time. <clears throat> so he he did not, he, he, he did not uh, put in practice uh, 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 what he had to do. Uh, he was focusing on the failure, but he forgot his victories. That my advice for all of us is to focus ourselves in our victories, because that will help us to overcome any situation that comes across in our lives. So first, King, just 19, you find the story of Elijah when he just stayed in the cave and stayed crying there, and he was completely uh, ashamed by the situations. Now, but why we 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 talking about this is because we need to have a balance. You and me, we need to stand before the mirror, identify ourselves, because we might find ourselves crying uh, under a loss, under a failure. We have failed, and we stay there. But it's not about where you are or how. It's your situation. It's about your behavior and how you respond to it. We should respond with boldness, with faith. But how we're going to feed all this is with our victories. With when we think in our victories, when we think in what we have done and what we have lived and what we have uh, 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 achieved in past times. When we focus on that, we'll encourage ourselves and we really come up back again on track and we come back again as head and not stay as tail. So, the book of 
Samuel chapter 22. Uh, he will give us another story about the same, same, same st- st- related story with a man who also ran into a cave. He, when he was treated by a situation and problem, he just ran and he hid in a cave. The difference with, the, with David, that we ran into the cave, you find this story in the book of Samuel. Uh, 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 first Samuel chapter 22. Uh, and, uh, and, and you find this story that when he ran into a dark cave, stayed there, but there was a difference with him, with him that he just focusing himself in the victories he has and what the Lord has promised to him. So he did not lose his, his identity, but he remained firm in what the Lord has told him. And then, and then the people start to come to him, so he will encourage more, more himself. Still he was looking himself in a cave. He did not have any power. He did not have any authority. And then, even though he just said to them uh, uh, to run away, but he was focusing on what he was living, and he knew that he had to wait for his time. But he did not uh, 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 give himself into that uh, uh, failure. But he started to make a plan, a plan how to re- re- uh, reestablish himself and, and to come back again to where he was, to find his position. But he managed to do that because he reminded himself who was, who he was. He reminded himself and uh, his identity and his call and what he was there waiting for. All the Lord's promises, he just rem- uh, bring into his mind and he just boosts. Uh, boosting up and fill himself with boldness again to come back into his position. So, for you and for me, the secret is not to focus in our failures, but it to focus in our victories. Let's not stay crying where we are, but we just come up from that place and rise up. It doesn't matter if you are under the bridge, in the middle of the war, uh, 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 in a prison, uh, or just a sickness, or anything that you are coming through, don't focus on it. Just try focus on, on what you want, and who you were in the past, and what you have achieved. And how far have you come to, and how good you were. Then you focus on those things that will give you boldness, that will give you encouragement, and it will remind you who you are, your identity. When your identity is reminding to you, then you come back in, in, in place and start to walk back in track. So, focus on your big choice. Learn from your experience. You have to learn from that. You cannot forget that, uh, whether, whether, uh, whether it's a good or bad experience, but focusing in, in, in what you really need to have so you can come back in track is just big choice. Your victories, your victories, focus on your victories, focus on your victories, then that will give you a strength to go back. But don't focus on your failures, because if you, if you do what Elijah was doing in, in, in the cave, just uh, focus on his failures, he will, you will stay crying and your situation will get worse. But if you focus on your victories, your situation will become better. So this is the two stories in that you can you can find out in the book of First King chapter nineteen, uh, from verse nine in the story uh, or, or, or the whole verse, the whole chapter, sorry, and read the story of Elijah, who was a powerful man, a man of anointing, a man that done my, mighty things. But then when the situation come in place, he forgot his victories, and he focused on his failures, and he was done. But then, different than David in the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 22, he was in the cave, but he started eventually focusing on his victories, 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 and he started to get boosted up again and back on track. So, focus on your victories. For today's message is focus on your victories. Just learn from your experience, but only give importance to your victories. Don't stay... Uh, 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 focusing in, in, in the past, but focusing on your big choice, on your good experience. The Lord bless you, the Lord keep you, and the Lord give you knowledge, wisdom to stay on track. The, uh, 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 you can also 
say, Lord Jesus, I make you my Lord and Savior and forgive my sins. And Lord, Lord, please allow me the promise of the Holy Spirit. I can remember everything that I need to so I can overcome back again and serve you and glorify your name in Jesus' name. So the Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. And remember, but only give importance to your victories. The Lord bless you. Goodbye.